And here's another acronym to remember. And this course you'll find is full of acronyms. And this is AVPU. And remember the AVPU scale when assessing a casualty. First of all, alert. Is the casualty moving? If not, proceed to V, which is voice. Does the casualty respond to speech? If no, re, uh, sorry, proceed to P. Uh, place. Place your hand on the casualty's shoulders and gently shake them. Ask loudly, are you alright? If no, response, then proceed to you. Unresponsive. Assume the casualty is unresponsive. So let's have a look at the primary survey. Again, another acronym. Remember DRABC or Doctor ABC for the primary survey. First of all, make sure the area is safe before you approach. D for danger. R, response. Check to see if the character responds to verbal command. Gently shake the shoulders and ask loudly, are you all right? So the AVPU scale, if you like. Then airway, open the airway by tilting the head back and lifting the chin with two fingers. B, breathing, look, listen and feel for normal breathing for up to 10 seconds. And lastly, circulation, check for major bleeding and treat accordingly. At what point would you send a bystander to call for an ambulance if your casualty is not breathing normally? Is it A, after checking for breathing? B, after carrying out CPR? C, after checking for a response, or D, as soon as they've been placed in the recovery position. So again, pause the video and click which one you think it is. Um, this time I'm just going to make a mistake so you see what the uh, answer shouldn't be. Put that after carrying out CPR. But after checking the casualties breathing, send a bystander for help. So A is the answer. After checking for a response from your casualty, if you're on your own, what should you do next? Is it A, check for breathing, B, call for an ambulance, C, shout for help, or D, open the airway? So again, pause the video and decide what you think. After checking for response for your casualty, if you're on your own, what should you do next? The next thing you should do is... Shout for help. Okay, secondary assessment. So we've looked at the primary assessment. Uh, next is the secondary assessment to check uh, what other problems there might be with the casualty. Now you can work this out uh, from history. Is there any history of uh, the person ending up in, in this position, for example? Um, might they have had a seizure, they might have had before? Uh, do they carry any uh, bracelets, which might inform you of this? Uh, you look at signs, you look at symptoms, and you should be able to get um, a rough diagnosis. This is where you do the top to toe survey. So you start with the head and the face, check then the neck, the shoulders and chest, then the arms, the spine, the pelvis, the abdomen, and uh, the extremities. So you're looking for anything that shouldn't be there, uh, perhaps a bruise, perhaps a contusion, uh, any lumps, any bumps, anything that's uh, wouldn't normally be on the casualty. So this is why you're checking for all of these um, top to toe survey. And this is how you put a person into recovery position. So again, they should be breathing normally. Uh, they might well be unconscious, but as long as they're breathing normally, we need to put them in a position where uh, if they are sick, for example, that they don't choke on their own vomit. So first of all, you need to kneel beside the casualty, remove any spectacles or wristwatch and check their pockets. Place your arm nearest to you at right angles to their body with their arm bent in the position it falls. Do not attempt to force the arm into an unnatural position. You then bring the arm furthest away from you across the chest 
and hold the back of the hand against the nearest cheek. Then, with your other hand, you grasp the far leg, just above the knee, and pull it up, but keep the foot on the ground. Keep the hand pressed against the cheek, and pull on the leg to roll a casualty towards you, and onto their side. Roll gently, supporting the head constantly. Adjust the upper leg so that both the hip and the knee are bent at right angles. Adjust the hand under the cheek, if necessary, to keep the head tilted. Keep the airway open and monitor breathing. And this is a casualty in the recovery position. Again, it might be worth uh, replaying this video a couple of times to look at the recovery position because it is an important uh, part of first aid.